Hello and welcome to this course System Administration 1. Uh, my name is Jakob Lindehoff and I'm a program coordinator for the software development and operations program here at LNU. Uh, this is the first course in more of an operational uh, department. You have been programming a lot uh, since you started here this autumn. Uh, this is the license, it's the usual, as we always have on our courses. Uh, the course management, I think you recognize most of the gang. Uh, we have one new face, it's Thomas Ivarsson. Uh, I think he will present himself when he starts having uh, lectures. Um, the course syllabus, uh, it's computer science, the main field. Uh, some of you are watching this uh, are not at attending the course uh, at LNU, maybe wondering what this DV stands for that we usually have in, uh, in the course uh, code. It's Swedish for datavetenskap, so computer science. So if you see a course code with one DV, some number, then it's a computer science course. If you see another course with one, I don't know what you have, IK or something like that, and informatics. Uh, we have some prerequisites for this course, or just one course actually. Uh, it's Introduction to Programming, which hopefully all of you uh, is finished with by now, uh, or something equivalent to that, uh, some sort of uh, understanding for uh, programming. We have the course, uh, the, the syllabus, you can reach on this link. Uh, but I will walk you through it. This is from the course syllabus. Um, this is what we expect that you as students should know and understand when we are done. Uh, as you see, it's <coughs> quite a lot of stuff. And each of these topics can, we can have an individual course for each of these to topics. Uh, we used to have a, a study program called IT Technician. Uh, which actually sums up <laughs> that whole two-year program with just these um, course goals. So, as you understand, we can't go into depth in all of these. We just scratch on the surface on some of them. Uh, so, we have divided these goals into three parts. Uh, the first one is computer networks, and we have added the basic, just the basics, uh, because we can't go in too much in depth in that. Uh, we have a second part that is how to choose a method of operation. How should, should we uh, manage our machines and operating systems and stuff like that. Uh, and the third part is more uh, practical part uh, on how to install, how to manage and operate these systems. We have nine uh, scheduled lectures. Uh, and two seminars, yeah, you see the part. I will go into the, the different part uh, right now. The first part, uh, computer networks. Uh, your teacher there will be Thomas, who has a long experience in computer networks. He was the, uh, the teacher for the IT technician program on the networked part, so he's good at that. He now works in informatics, um, and we will start this part just after this uh, course introduction in 10, 15 minutes or so, the first lecture. So that's divided into two lectures, and then you will have a seminar where you uh, will meet, you have some questions uh, in forehand which you will prepare and answer, and then we will meet uh, probably in Skype or some other uh, online uh, platform to have a group discussion about this. Then you will have an uh, examination assignment which, which will be based on the, the, um, the seminar question, but you have, have to writ, write an examination. Uh, we will go into details in that uh, maybe late this week or early next week. Uh, the second part is about server operational methods. Uh, as you probably know, you can manage and operate servers in different ways. You can install them physically on a, on a hardware computer or you can have them virtualized. You can even have them in containers. 
so how do you choose the right method of operation uh, for your uh, application and for your software? Uh, these two first parts are really only in theory. We will not go into hands-on stuff here. We will, you will have to uh, look in the syllab uh, in the lecture uh, <laughs> in the literature or the the um, the web for answering the questions. Uh, so you won't be actually doing installing stuff in these two first parts. Uh, this part will start in around two weeks. The next part, now that we have the, the theory in place, now we will get in, into the more uh, practical stuff. So you will install both Windows and Linux servers. Uh, you will learn some about how to uh, program against the system, both in Bash and in, in PowerShell. Uh, you will learn how to install some services. These are basically only network services, but I think that's the part that you uh, will have fun with learning. Um, so to achieve this second part, uh, this third part, this is the biggest part of the course. We have five lectures. We have a couple of uh, exercises. I don't know the number yet because I haven't gotten to that part. Uh, and then we have a big uh, examination assignment. Uh, which will be examined with an oral hearing. So you will present how you choose to, to uh, manage this assignment. You'll probably have some sort of documentation how you put up the system and stuff like that. And every week we have one hour of tutoring if you get stuck with exercises or how to uh, manage the, the examination uh, assignments. The literature, quite a heavy book. The guys uh, who write about uh, system administration, they like to make these big books. Uh, <clears throat> this is quite old for being in our field. I think this is from 2007. Uh, but the stuff in here uh, is not in detail how to exactly install this version of Windows or this version of Linux. Uh, it's more about how to manage your systems and how to think about when you have big systems. Uh, it's not mandatory, uh, but it's really recommended. I think it's good. Um, so where to go if you need information about the course? Well, we have a course homepage. It's the same as we usually have. Here where you find static information. Uh, about the course and uh, we have a schedule, we have the link to the Slack channel. You have to be a registered LNU uh, student to access that channel. Uh, there you will ask questions about the course. Uh, don't email me directly if you have a, a question that is more of a general uh, uh, sort. If you have personal questions, if you're uh, yeah, personal matters, then you will mail me, but not, uh, and otherwise you will use the Slack channel. Uh, and during lectures, you uh, should use Slack channel to uh, submit questions if you're not here on campus. Today we are not that many here at campus, uh, but hopefully that will change uh, soon. Uh, you have only two parts available on the homepage right now. Uh, and even these are not done yet, as you can see. There will be more to come here. But here you will find the presentation and the, uh, the link to the recording uh, afterwards, if you can't watch it live. So I think that's it for the course uh, introduction. Uh, I think we will have a five-minute break before Thomas takes over and talk about computer communications. So, see you in five minutes.